alaikum civil engineers and civil engineering student i am engineer saifullah and you are watching civil engineer at site youtube channel so dear student today i will show you how to design a cantilever beam with a practical example so watch the full video and if you are a new visitor so subscribe our youtube channel along with a press up bell icon for notification of new videos so let's start so dear student here we, are, here we will design a simply supported beam by stress method the question is design a rcc beam with a balanced section for flexure by working stress method it means that the method by which we are going to design the simply supported beam is stress method so now the particular of the beam are given data for this numerical is effective span or length of the simply supported beam is 8 meter. Now light load acting upon this beam is 12 kilo newton per meter. Breadth of the beam is 300 millimeter or 3 centimeter. Concrete grade using for making up this beam is M15. Reinforcement steel grade using for this beam is F. 415 to design the beam first of all we should find the balance step of neutral axis n which will be obtained by this formula so neutral axis is equal to 1 divided by permissible compressive tension sorry permissible tensile stress in steel bar and divided by modular multiplied by compressive or uh, permissible compressive stress in concrete plus one after this we will find the lever arm which is equal to j is equal to one minus n divided by three for balance design we get moment which will be equal to k multiplied by b multiplied by d square in which k is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by permissible compressive stress of concrete multiplied by neutral axis multiplied by depth of the beam now permissible compressive stress in concrete for m15 gate is 5 newton per millimeter and permissible tensile stress in steel for f415 or 415 grade of steel is 230 newton per millimeter so after that we will find the modular ratio for the beam modular ratio is equal to 80 divided by 3 multiplied by permissible compressive stress in concrete which is 5 so here we will multiply 3 by 5 3 multiplied by 5 now 280 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 so after calculation it will be 18.67 or 19 now we will put the value of m in this first equation to find the neutral axis of the beam so on the other page we have put the value of m here which is is 19 which is 19 so n is equal 1 divided by 230 1 plus divided by 19 multiplied by 5 after calculation after calculation 0 uh, sorry n is equal to 1 divided by 230 1 plus divided by 19 multiplied by 5 after calculation neutral axis is equal to 0 0.292 now after neutral axis it's the turn to find the lever arm which is equal 1 minus n divided by 3 so after calculation the value of lever arm is 0 0.903 and after the finding the values of neutral x and lever arm we will find the value of k so by putting the values of n j n here so it will be equal to k is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 0 0.292 multiplied by 0 0.903 after multiplying these values with each other is its answer will be 0 0.659 newton per millimeter square after the 
finding the value of k we will find the bending moment at mid span of this beam so moment is equal to weight or load acting on the beam multiplied by length of length square of this beam divided by 8 so the load acting on the beam is 12 multiplied by 8 square multi divided by 8 so 8 will be cancelled with 1 8 and 12 multiplied by 8 is equal to 96 so the moment is equal to 96 multiplied by 10 the rest of the power 6 kilo newton per millimeter now we will put the value in here of moment now we will put the value of moment here so 96 multiplied by 10 rest of power 6 is equal to kbd square so we have already know the value of b and k here we will define depth of the beam or d so by putting the v the value of k and b in the equation the d square is equal to 96 multiplied by 10 raised to the power divided by 0 0.659 multiplied by 300 after calculation of these values we will take square root on both sides after taking square root d will be equal to 696.8 millimeter or 700 millimeter which will be equal to 70 centimeter so the depth of the beam is 70 centimeter now adopt 30 centimeter multiplied by 70 centimeter effective section of the beam force of compression is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by permissible compressive strength multiplied by breadth of the beam multiplied by neutral axis of the beam multiplied by depth of the beam is the equation 2 now force of tens tension is equal to area of steel or area of reinforcement multiplied by permissible tension of the steel this is the equation third so after that we will area of steel may be obtained by equating equation 2 and equation 3 so after equating these two equations it will be 0 0.5 multiplied by compressive stress up in concrete multiplied by breadth of the beam multiplied by neutral axis of the beam multiplied by depth of the beam which is equal to area of reinforcement multiplied by compressive tension of steel bars to find the area of the steel it will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by compressive stress in concrete multiplied by b multiplied by n multiplied by d divided by compressive tension of steel it by putting these values it will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 300 multiplied by 0 0.292 multiplied by 700 divided by 230 so after calculation of these values the area of steel will be equal to 666.2 or 667 millimeter square so dear students if you have learned from this topic and learn the designing of a simply supported beam so please like our video and give your opinion in the comment box and if you have any problem related to civil engineering please comment your problem we will try to solve your problem and if you are a new visitor please subscribe our youtube channel civil engineer at site so thank you for watching